Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me this morning wanting to know how to do this crest with a actually an S in it. Uh, I forgot to leave the picture up. I don't have already deleted the picture they sent me. But as you can see, I brought in my yellow box, and so there's no background in the S. So the the crest will engrave, will engrave, but the S will not. And I actually did two of them, and uh, sent them to them to see which font they want and Hopefully with the video, they'll be able to produce their own. But here's the crest. I just got on clip art. I just went to uh, search crest clip art. I, I use this one right here because it was more similar to the one they had. So here's my clip art. And I'm going to go to trace bitmap, outline trace, clip art. Now this one's a little bit different because it's going to wipe everything out, but that's fine. Your trace is always on top. So I'm going to just move it out of the way. I'm going to right click my mouse and I get a hairline. I'm going to put it in the center of the page. I'm going to put my yellow box in the center of the page. And you can see we've got a white fill. So we need to left click no fill. Now I'm going to move the yellow box out of the way. And I'm just going to bring in the letter S, a capital, capital S. and size it, we'll pick a font. Uh, let's see what this one looks like. Now, a lot of times you have to click back off of it. I don't like that. Let's go back to this one. Then just hit P in your keyboard, put it in the center of the page. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's make it a little bit larger. Just grab that handle and expand it out. Hit P back on your keyboard. Now it looks a little funny, bottom, you know, top, but it's in the center because Corel way, but you could always move it up by holding down the shift key and then it's left to right, it's right. You're clicked on the S, left click, no fill, right click, hairline, go up to your smart fill tool. Whoop. Back up here. Get your smart fill tool. I hit my smart drawing tool. And there's your S. Uh, now we can take away all the hairlines and then bring in our yellow box. And there you have a crest or any shape you could use. This is actually called reverse engraving with a letter. Anything in yellow will be the natural color of the wood and anything in black will be engraved away. I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.